How's it going everybody? Today I found a really cool thing. It's been in Blender forever and a lot of you might have already known this but I just found it out and I thought it was really cool. In Blender, in the game engine, I found out that there is a way that you can compound parent objects together. So I was messing around with it and after probably about an hour and a half of just messing around seeing what I could do, I found out that you can make some pretty cool destruction physics with it. So, we'll see how I did it. We'll add a plane as our floor. Let's just give this plane some collisions. And then we will add a sphere. This will be our main object. So let's just give it the name main. And then we'll also give it the property main. So now that we have all this, all we have to do is go to our physics, make this a rigid body, and then add collision bounds, and we'll use convex hull. You can use any other ones, it doesn't matter. Convex hull just gives you the least amount of vertices and the most performance, I think. At least I think so. Now, all we're gonna do is click compound on this, and it's ready to go. Woo, a sphere. So let's also just add a lamp just so we can see what makes the scene a little prettier. There we go. I won't worry about shadows or anything right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some objects. So let's just add a cube. And it even doesn't matter, you could have it on static. Uh, you can just go collisions, the property main. Say when colliding with main, we will go over and say parent. Parent this object to our main object. So now that it's cool. So now that it has the parent main, if we press play, you'll see that it works. There is one problem though. You'll see that the cube on the bottom that we just parented to kind of phases through the plane. And that's a pretty simple fix. You just click on your main object, go control A, scale, and that way we rescale because we scaled it up. So that means we have to adjust the scale. So if we press play, now the cube doesn't face through the plane anymore. And we're going to add a delay to this cube. Delay is right here. And let's make it 100. Put it on repeat so it'll keep on going. Keep on repeating that 100 ticks. And then we can say parent. Remove parent. Turn this to rigid body. Collision as cube. It'll be a lot easier to see it work now. It kind of shifts around a little bit. So if we just add quite a few of these, let's just add quite a few more spheres around just to make the cubes interact a little more. There we go. Now we can really see it. And you'll see after those ticks, they will start to detach from each other if they're hanging out because they have no support. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's actually just really fun to play around with. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is really fun. I'm glad that I was able to figure this out. This is just so cool. Just watching it crumble and the physics and everything. If you enjoyed, give her a like. It really helps me out. And if you enjoyed my content, got quite a bit more of the physics variety. I love physics. Just working with it. And... That'll be the end.